Hi, everybody, and welcome back. This is your host, Jordan, with Conquer Trading and Investing. And in today's video, we're going to look at the coming Bitcoin halving in 2020. We're going to give a price prediction, and I'm going to explain to you why there's a really high probability that price is going to come in. But yes, some people are visualized or expecting Bitcoin to be trading uh, at new all-time highs going into the halving. Let's take a look together and see if that's what we think is going to happen. We're going to be looking at several different charts today, and these charts are going to give us a really nice story explaining to us what we expect to be happening over the next several months in Bitcoin. So I'm really interested to know where you expect the price of Bitcoin to be in, in two areas. I want to know where you think it'll be in as we enter the halving, the next halving in May of 2020. And I want to know where you think the price of Bitcoin will be as we enter the highest price point during the bull market mania. We're going to start with price chart right here. We're looking at the three different halving cycles that we've already have been through and are currently in right here on the third. A halving cycle in Bitcoin lasts four years and every four years the miner's reward is reduced in half. For example, the first halving cycle, every 10 minutes, every time a new block was produced, the miners received 50 Bitcoin for verifying those transactions. Four years later, in the second halving cycle, they received 25 Bitcoins per block. Right now, currently, in the third halving cycle, they are receiving 12 and a half Bitcoin per block. And in the next halving cycle, in the fourth halving cycle, they will be receiving 6.25 Bitcoin per block. All right. The first thing I notice when I look at this chart is it's really cool. And it's really cool because you're seeing all three having cycles laid out with each other. You see the price. You see the first one, and this was the Genesis block right here. You see that price basically started at nothing and then closed at just above $10 uh, per Bitcoin. Now in the second having cycle, started there at $12 per Bitcoin, and then it closed. It got as high as uh, over 1,000 Bitcoin and then it closed at 658 Bitcoin, which is where the third cycle opened at 658 Bitcoin. And now it traded as high as 19,500. And then currently today, we have a price of about 8,700. And Bitcoin is about six, seven months away from the next halving. So where will price be at the halving? Where is price going? We're gonna take a look at that today. I want to take a look at this chart with you right now too. This is the three, the price shown in candles for the three halving cycles. Right. This is really neat. Again, you could just visualize price closing around twelve dollars, six hundred and fifty-eight dollars, and where it is right now, it's currently about eight thousand seven hundred. This chart here is showing you uh, that right now, currently, we are receiving three point six percent. Uh, that's the amount of Bitcoin that's created. And you could see in the third heaven cycle, that's going down to 1.8 as the minor reward is cut down from 12 and a half Bitcoin to six and a quarter. So that's what we're going to be seeing next year. Now, now the importance of this here, you could see that gold's supply growth is 1.6%. Starting in May, Gold and Bitcoin will almost have the same amount of supply growth per year. Gold will be a little bit lower, but what's going to happen after the next halving cycle? Now, why this is important is because four years from now, in 2024, Bitcoin will have a lower supply issuance than gold. That is astronomical. And here you could look at a chart of Bitcoin priced in gold, and you could see today... You can see today that there is approximately 10 ounces of gold for every Bitcoin. Where that is expected to be in just two years is 100 ounces of gold per Bitcoin. You could see here, this is looking at the historical performance of one Satoshi, uh, one sat priced in gold. And you could see that it drops. It's dropping, each having it's dropping further. And then you could see that also viewed in dollars. We all know that the dollar in general loses its purchasing power year over year. You could see Bitcoin gaining purchasing power year over year. Bitcoin should be thought of as a, as a form of savings, as a savings account, something that is not only going to protect your purchasing power, but actually increase it. 
This chart over here is showing Bitcoin on this date. So we're looking here at November the 7th, 2019. You could start over here for every November 7th for the past eight years. And you have, you could see price maintaining and growing year over year. It's a form of savings and protecting and increasing your purchasing power. We can see here that the Bitcoin value transfer is steadily growing since its inception. And then you should expect right over, this is where we are on the previous halving cycle as it's flattening out over here. So you could expect as we go into the next halving cycle, this to increase again as it has in the previous two. This chart is showing a yearly candles of Bitcoin. And you notice two things. You notice these abnormally large candles. The gain here was over 5,000%. The gain here was over 1,300%. And what you could see there followed by a down price bar. And then price stabilizes going into the halving. Price is stabilizing again, slightly up. And then after the halving, you see price explode upwards, all right? So we're expecting to entering this area right now. I want you to visualize this. This is this chart just presented to you in a different way. And here's what I wanna show you because we talked about what we, where we expect price to be going into the halving. You can see the first cycle, you take the high, you take the low, price came in at exactly halfway between the two. That happened here again on the second cycle. You have the high and the low, and then price entered the halving. A lot of people, some people are expecting price to be exploding to new all-time highs at the halving. Here we are on the third cycle. We have the high, the low, and then you have here going into the halving, price should be somewhere in between. This is a fantastic chart for you to visualize that on. We'll go over this in one second. But yes, some people are visualized, are expecting Bitcoin to be trading uh, at new all-time highs going into the halving. Let's take a look together and see if that's what we think is going to happen. Here you have the bull period of the first halving, then the bear market, accumulation phase, expansion, and then reaccumulation. Look, look, watch that play out again. In this second halving cycle, you have the bull phase, you have the bear market, you have the accumulation phase, and then the expansion, and then the reaccumulation, which is the last six months, seven months going into the halving. Now, it's widely speculated that Satoshi went ahead and actually purposefully created the reduction of the miners award every four years to create these boom and bust cycles. These boom and bust because what it does is the boom creates awareness, creates adoption around Bitcoin. It's over here that people first hear, start hearing about it in the media. This was all over the media. Then you go through the bust phase and it's in the bust phase where things are really built and the, and the structure, the foundation of Bitcoin is really built out. And then you have the, the expansion and reaccumulation phase. Where are we right now? We've been through the bear. We entered in, in January of 2019, we entered that accumulation phase and then expansion phase, right? And then we are, right now, it looks to be that we are in this reaccumulation phase for the next six, seven months until the halving. What happens after the halving? Well, if you look at this bull market, the bull market seems to happen within the six to 18 months after the halving. You could see that play out over and over and over, and we expect that over right here. It's going to put us somewhere between 55,000 and 130,000 per Bitcoin. This is what I expect. That is my prediction. You could look over here. This could help you visualize it a lot clearer. We're over here. The stock to flow has us 2020 as we enter the halving right here where my mouse is. Bitcoin should be trading somewhere around. $11,500. And then shortly thereafter, within the next six months to one year, we should be trading somewhere around $55,000 and then approaching $100,000. Now, these things tend to sometimes overshoot themselves. It's possible. It's possible that as soon as you pass $100,000, 
that $200,000, $250,000 does come and come really quick. You could, if you look back into the late 2017, when Bitcoin crossed $4,000, to get from $4,000, and remember, the last all-time high was just over $1,000 on Bitcoin in the previous halving cycle. When Bitcoin crossed $4,000, in order for it to reach the high of $19,500, it just, took, it just took a matter of weeks for it to do that. And the same thing could happen. You could have this blow-off parabolic expansion. You could see Bitcoin come in around $100,000. And then weeks later, it could easily be trading at $200,000, $250,000. If we, we talked about in 2024, when we have the halving cycle after that, when Bitcoin's supply flow winds up being lower than golds, well, that should ignite Bitcoin 1 million in the following halving cycle. And that's where we are. That's what we're looking at. Please below in the comments, share what you, where you think the price of Bitcoin will be at the halving in May of 2020, what your prediction is for the price of Bitcoin. And then also let me know where you expect the height of the bull market during the high price of the bull market, what range you expect the price of Bitcoin to be in. So I'm really interested to know where you expect the price of Bitcoin to be in, in two areas. I want to know where you think it'll be in as we enter the halving, the next halving in May of 2020. And I want to know where you think the price of Bitcoin will be as we enter the highest price point during the bull market mania. Really interested to hear both those predictions. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already gone ahead and hit that like button, please, if you enjoyed this video, learn something new, go ahead and hit that like button. I'll see you all later. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon.